guy he was going to meet, he'd never met him. If it was a guy, what do you mean? So what about a name, eh? Charlie Driscoll. What do you know about a man called Graham Denton? No comment. What do you know about a man called Axe Greville? No comment. What do you know about the death of Detective Rachel Goldstein? No comment. Where were you last Thursday evening? I was at my club the Wildcat in King's Cross. You're dead. Jack, I thought I'd missed you. I left a note. But I, you want to come in for coffee? No, thank you. I just wanted to give you this. I've been going through Rachel's things. It's her diary. I didn't know she kept one. <laughs> Nor did any of us. I thought you might like to read it. You sure? Of course. You were her partner. You were a big part of her life. Thank you. I'll see you. The alibi that Charlie Driscoll's given us for last Thursday, the day that Rachel was murdered, was that she was at her club, the Wildcat Club. Now, this has been substantiated by one of her bodyguards. Warren Tyson. What happened to all the other homicide guys? Well, since they set up a task force, they don't need all the manpower. This is Warren Tyson. Says who? And given Tyson's on Driscoll's payroll, and he's got a lengthy record, possessed firearms, assault, you name it, I reckon his story's got to be taken with a grain of salt. Now, there are a list of names being passed around. All these people have been positively identified as being at the Wildcat Club on Thursday night. I want you to split into groups and check them out. Did they see Charlie Driscoll there? Can they tell us of anyone else who was there? Anyone who might know anything? Anything at all? All we need is one person to say she wasn't there between 7.30 and midnight and her alibi's dead in the water. All right. Any questions? That's it. Let's get on with it. What's he saying about Tyson? Be quicker just to break him. You're not on this case, Jack. De Silva will take care of it. No, he wake up, mate. He's a lightweight. He's never going to solve this. Jack. Jack. Let's hope we get something out of one of Charlie's customers. We could do with a break. Yeah, well, it's still the red four-wheel drive that cleaned up Axe Gravel. I think there's a fair chance of tracing that back to one of the suspects. Oh, yeah, if we find it. Interstate checks, you know, having no plates doesn't exactly make it easy. It's got a bloody great ding in the side. I mean, you'd think somebody would have seen it. Wait up. Uh, Graham Denton just got bail. Bail, eh? Right. What about a little friend in the immigration department? No, his mother put up a house. His mother? Right, OK. Well, maybe we should pay him a visit. Mm. Sir, can I have a word? If it's quick. Look, I was just thinking, what with Jack not being on the case, Riley's shouldering a lot of the load. Yeah, yeah, get to the point, Tavita. Well, Homicide's transferring a lot of their guys out. The command could do with another detective for the duration of this investigation. Oh, yeah, right, right. You got someone in mind? Yeah, me. Look, I, I've got experience. I worked with Rachel on a couple of cases last year. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Forget it. Oh, come on, Jeff. Look, 
I just want to help find her killer, that's all, instead of being stuck on that bloody boat. Look, Tavita, if you want to help, go and get Sykes and get onto that list that you're given in the briefing room, all right? Oh, look, I'm sorry, mate. It's the best you can do for Rachel right now, okay? They really need another D. They'll end up getting someone from crime agencies for a few weeks or something like that. Yeah, somebody who doesn't know this command or what Rachel meant to it. What do you know about three grams of heroin sold in Butler Lane about five minutes ago? Get off me, you mad bastard! I got it in my pocket. You got the wrong bloke. Oh, I don't think so, Warren. I bet your prints are all over it. Well, are you going to arrest me or what? You know the bloke you sold it to? He reckons he meets in the same place every Thursday night. He's lying. He's prepared to give us a statement. With your record, you're going away for a long time. Your history. I've had access visits with my kids Thursday nights. What, every Thursday? Yeah. Ask my wife. I'm always there. We checked Tyson's story with his ex-wife. He wasn't with his kids all night. He left at about 8.30. He could have gone straight over to the Wildcat Club. Which means Driscoll has no alibi for before then. Yeah, well, several club patrons reported seeing it around 7 o'clock, Jack. Yeah, but she could have left straight after, which gives her plenty of time to get to the power station to kill Rachel and to get back before Tyson. Jack. Jack. You're grasping at straws. Jeff, mate. there's a window of opportunity there. Can't you see that? Jack, all I see is that you have bludgeoned a contradiction out of a possible defence witness right in the middle of the street and they could sue the bloody ass off you, mate. On top of that, the changed statement. It's worth nothing. It's got no validity in court. I can't believe you've done this. I asked you to stay off this case. Why can't you just do what I tell you? Because doing nothing doesn't suit me, Jeff. Just get out of here, Jack. You're giving me heartburn. Look, Jack, we can handle this, I promise. So okay? what are you going to do now I've told you all this? Well, I'm going to tear up an official conversation with Warren Tyson. Jack, get out. There's the door. Get out. You're Nothing. off the Nothing. That's what you're going to do, like you always do. Nothing. Now piss off. You gonna buy me a new door, Jack? Put on a bit of weight? I'm still sharp enough to take on a bit of floor scum like you. Your alibi about the night Rachel Goldstein was killed? It's a crock. I'm gonna get you. Might take a day, a week. It might take a year. But I'm gonna throw you on a fire and I'm gonna watch you burn. Now get out. You want me to close this?
can I help you? I want to see Chief Inspector Hawker. In regard to what? I want to make a complaint about harassment by an officer in this command. Now you say the club wasn't open at the time. It's never open during the day. Right. Well, how did he get in? Sometimes the front door is left open for the cleaner. What difference does it make? Sergeant Christie was off duty today. I don't know, maybe he wandered in off the street looking for a drink. Jack Christie was in my club because he's gone off the rails over that cop that got killed. I know dead cops make you lot go crazy, but you can't go around hassling innocent people. I've got a business to run and I don't need this rubbish. I want Christie and the rest of your goons off my back. Understand? You've registered your complaint, Mrs. Driscoll. I'll make sure it goes through the proper channels. And uh, it's not Mrs. Thanks. Men have never done a lot for me. Present from Charlie. <laughs> Tyson starts going on about Christie, tell him to make a statement through internal affairs. I've got enough on my plate without that crap. He's not likely to bring it up, though, is he? Well, if you were him, you might put two and two together about why we're here for a chat. If I was him, I'd lie to us and we'd go away with nothing. Joe, look at this. It's Warren Tyson. Yep, dead as a doornail. Oh, what the bloody hell happened to you, Jack? Oh, I just had my lines of investigation vindicated. A couple of Charlie Driscoll's goons did a job on me. I struck a nerve there, but it's good news, Mick. I've got to run scared. Yeah? Warren Tyson's dead, mate. What? Yeah, to Silver and I saw him this afternoon. Garroted. What, professional hit? Well, there's no evidence to say that Charlie Driscoll was involved in it. Why didn't you just let us speak to him? Because De Silva wouldn't have gotten anything out of it. I said, this is much better, is it, Jack? No one to contradict her alibi. What about some of the people at the club? It's useless, Jack. It's a long shot, mate. You know that. Well, there's still someone out there with something against her. Scrum Denton. He refused to testify. Protecting Jack Christie. Open up. Are, are you my protection? It's, it's about to... What? I need you to testify against Charlie Driscoll. No way. Look, you named her in your statement about the passport scam. You gave her up. I need you to do the same thing in court. No. Look, you have to get up on the stand and you have to tell them that she's the person who didn't drop off at the power station. I, I, I can't, you know. She, she'd kill me. I've already said too much. Look, I, I asked for protection, you know. Where is it? This is Charlie Driscoll killed a cop, not just any cop. She killed my partner. You're the only person who can testify that she was at the right place at the right time and that's what you've got to tell the judge. Come on, Grant. I won't and you can't make me. She killed my partner. You have to do this. I can't. You're not a man. You're a cutlass prick. Nothing on the red four-wheel drive. 
Nothing solid from the people at the Wildcat Club. No, but the autopsy on Warren Tyson happens today, so hopefully something positive will come out of that. Uh, how does someone that big get murdered, dumped in a bin, and no one notices? Where he lives, they have habits, and one of them's turning their heads. Hey, Jack. What happened to you? Walk into a fridge? What are you doing? Take us time off. Well, your timing's perfect, Jack, because I have just suspended you for six weeks without pay. And you're lucky it's not longer. They obviously haven't heard about Charlie Driscoll kicking up a stink about your little visit yesterday. Jack? Jack! Three names. Slim pickings. You got nothing out of any of these people yesterday. Neither did anyone else. So what, you reckon it's a dead end? Charlie Driscoll's still got an alibi. Yeah. Oi! Got another job on for you, boys. Here, yeah, beachfront places at 40 Baskets was done over yesterday. I need you to get over there and take some statements. Helen, we're still working on Rachel's case. Yes, I know that. I'm sorry. Just interview the residents about their stolen cash and jewellery plus one catamaran, and that is it. Jack. First, Charlie Driscoll. Now, Graham Denton's lodged a complaint against you. You harassed him in his own home. Oh, look, I'm already suspended, Jeff. Yep. And if I thought that was enough to keep you out of this, Jack, but that ugly face of yours just tells me something different. So what are you going to do? Mate of mine's got a unit on the Gold Coast. It's all arranged. There's the address. There's the ticket. Plane leaves in an hour and a half, Jack. Start packing. So who sprung for the ticket? What, I want me gone that bad? Well, I, uh, I had a few frequent fly points. Jeff. Got no choice, Jack. I can't stand around here and watch you destroy your career. Possibly your life. I want you to go up there and I want you to stay there until I tell you to come back. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself transferred to the Camel Patrol at Whitecliffs. And start packing, mate. just in case you check it. Give us a call sometime. Hope you enjoy the Gold Coast. Yeah, okay, bye. So come on, Mick, you gonna tell the Hawker I didn't go? I should. That's not what I asked you. Well, what's the plan, Jack? You gonna keep obsessing over Charlie Driscoll, are you? You don't even know if she did anything. Oh, I know it. And so do you. And don't give me the party line that everything's under control because it's crap. So you've got everything under control, have you, Jack? It's probably better I don't answer that. Might put you in a difficult position professionally. It's probably better you don't know. You might lose everything. And for what? No result? At least I won't die wondering whether I could have done more. What's that? Rachel's diary. My father gave it to me to read. And have you? No. Why not? I don't know. Well, I've got it and I haven't read it. There's still one more conversation I've left to have with her. I kind of like that. She wouldn't want you to do this to yourself. You know that, Jay? Doing what? You're tearing yourself apart. She loved you. How do you know? She as good as said so the day she died. Not to me, she didn't. 
any leads from anybody at the Wildcat Club? We've got nothing, Mick. Nothing from anyone still left in town. What we need is a lead on that four-wheel drive that killed Axe. Yeah, that'd help. Had no number plates, right? So it must have been stolen. Why wasn't it reported missing or dumped? Could have been owned by the person who did the job. Oh, they wouldn't be so stupid as to use their own car, Mick. Well, where does it say in the rule book that crooks have to be smart, Helen? Uh... Maybe the car wasn't stolen or owned by the killer. What? Test drive, car yard. She speaks through you, Mick. I'm a senior that's had in-the-field experience, all right? I'm not trying to tell you how to do yeah. your job. Yeah, I've got a breakthrough. I finally tracked down that four-wheel drive that ran over Axe Gribble. And? Well, it's a demo model from Richardson's Motors in Dremoyne. It's taken for a test drive the same morning that Axe Greville was killed. It was brought back an hour later. Now, when they inspected the car, they found a large dent on the right-hand side front panel. Spoken to the dealer? Yeah, he's coming in for a statement right now. Excellent work. Good work, Mick. You sure it wasn't him? Him. Now, we need to be absolutely positive that this was the guy who took the vehicle for a test drive. Now, was it him? No. This guy? No. This guy with the beard? No. No. This one? No. The old bloke? No. This one? No, no luck. Have a squeeze of them. No. 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 This is the guy. Are you sure about that? Now you take a close look. Absolutely, it was him. Graham Denton killed Axe Greville? Denton. Get on to the silver. Organise a raid on Denton's place. Sure, Jeff. Hey, Jack, pick up the phone. You're doing breaking enters now, Jack. You have come down in the world. The file of X makes an interesting read. Passport biz. Written on the day Rachel Goldstein was killed. Never seen that before in my life. It's your handwriting. Oh, how do you know? It's your office. Your desk. Your file of facts. You love playing games, don't you? I thought you would have got yourself a tighter alibi for that night, Charlie. I thought you were smarter than that. Hey, Tyson, you really dropped you in it. He gave a statement saying I was here all night. Yeah. And I like the version where he wasn't here for hours, which gave you plenty of time to get to the power station, do the passport drop, kill a cop, and get back here in time to play Happy Hostess. Look, man, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You killed Rachel, and you went into damage control. Axe Gribble saw you do it, so you knocked him. You put the Frighteners into Graham Denton, and you got rid of Tyson because he couldn't keep his mouth shut. Huh? You can't prove one word of that. I got all the proof I need. Now move. I'll crucify you for this, Christy. I said, move. Today's newspaper. Looks like his cup of tea's pretty warm, too. Denton! Graham! It's the police! No, I think he's done the runner. Well, oh, his car smashed up, he can't. Get out. Now, 
Look, why don't you just cut this crap and tell me what the hell is going on? I want you to walk me through it. I don't know what you're talking about. You think about it, Charlie, it'll come back to you. This is where you murdered Rachel. I've never been here before in you're my life. You're not listening to me. I want to know every detail. I want to know what happened. You're making a very big I mistake. Know. You're the one who's made the mistake. It wasn't me. You've got the wrong person. Mr. Denton, where were you last Wednesday at 11 a.m.? I told you I was at work. Well, the people in your office say that you're absent from 10.30 till 12. I was there, I swear. You would have gone up these stairs, right? Thinking Greville came in this way. Look, I've never met Axe Greville. Rachel came in the front. You would have heard her before you saw her. What were you thinking, eh? Were you thinking it was Greville? Were you? I didn't do it! I swear. Let me make this very simple. You have been positively identified as the man who took a red four-wheel drive from Richardson's Motors at Tremoyne at a quarter to 11 last Wednesday. Half an hour later, that same vehicle was used to kill Axe Greville, a courier involved in the same passport scam that you've already been charged with. That's not true. As you came round the corner, you saw her. Too late to run. You're unarmed. You picked up the glass. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What are you sorry about, Graham? I didn't mean to kill anyone. It was all supposed to be straightforward. Charlie Driscoll was on my back. Now, this doesn't make any sense. If I wanted to kill her, why would I come unarmed? You lied about your alibi. Yeah, OK. OK, I was at home alone. I knew it was thin and you wouldn't believe it. I knew you were going to come after me, so I had to set up another one. With Tyson, and then you killed him. Man, people were lining up to kill Tyson. You killed Tyson. You killed Axe, just like you killed Rachel, right here. I knew there was something wrong when I heard the passport drop had been intercepted. So I changed the meeting place. What meeting place? For the next shipment. I contacted Axe and told him to meet me at the power station. You were at the power station at White Bay last Thursday week. I didn't mean to. She recognised me. I had no choice. I killed her. I stabbed her. Mr Denton. You are talking about Rachel Goldstein? Yes. Some of you are already aware we have secured a confession from Graham Denton in relation to the investigation into Rachel's murder. Now, I know that you've all worked very hard on this case and I just want to say 
Thank you very much for your time and your effort. And I know that I know that Rachel would be would, would be very proud. Proud of all of you. And Joe De Silva. Thank you. I just Joe. took a report from a barman at the Homicide. Wildcat Club. Apparently Charlie Driscoll's gone missing. Okay, I'll take care of it. Don't to get tell a result. Anybody. Okay, anyone. All right, so apart from the paperwork and a bit of filing that um, that concludes this investigation. Charlie Driscoll, sir, will she be charged for her part in the uh, passport forgery scam? Unfortunately, we only have Denton's statement linking her to the fraud. And as he's just confessed to two murders, that statement doesn't hold much credibility. We have no real evidence saying that Driscoll was involved. The feds will pick it up now. They'll look into the passport scam and the illegal immigrants. Tyson murder, sir. Is that case going to remain open? Well, obviously, we still suspect Driscoll, but uh, without any further evidence, then our hands are tied. find out you went through all this shit and killed the wrong person. I don't believe a word you say. It'll all be for nothing. How do you think Rachel would feel about that? Do you think she'd want you to do all this for nothing? Don't say her name. I don't want to hear it in your What did you do, Jack?
I waited at the power station for ages and and the next finally showed up. He he didn't even look at me, he just he just took off. I, I started heading out and then there she was in front of me. She gave me this funny kind of look. I'm surprised to see me there. I, I knew she'd recognize me. Well, I, I, I just lost it, you know. I grabbed the first thing I could see, this piece of glass, and pushed it into her. She, <clears throat> she, um, she, she staggered and fell, and there was, there was blood everywhere. about the theory, Jack. You said the wrong target. There was no reason. She was just there. And he killed her. What a bloody... What a stupid bloody waste. I'm not going to say anything about what I saw today, Jack. But if I'm asked, you just say what you saw. Hey, Jack. Tell me you just got back from Queensland. Yeah, yeah. It's really not my kind of place, Jeff. But thanks anyway. Here. You don't feel no better, do you? Mm. No one who killed her won't bring Rachel back.
This is madness. If I love Jack, why do I treat him like this? What am I scared of? Scared to commit? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe everyone goes through this. Wondering how many people they'll love in a lifetime. Wondering how many people they can meet that they can love. I think I've been lucky. And I've met more than one. Stuff those up, though. I'm such a coward. Why is it just so hard to say that I love him? Just say it. I love you, Jack. Take me.